you mm -hmm. said you were watching I'm a Celebrity where you did have that, that, that breakdown and you left very quickly after three days. You just watched that and said, I don't even recognise myself. No. So, I don't see that girl anymore. So could you do it again? One million percent. If I was ever given the opportunity, yes. Oh, I'd love that. You'd go back One into the jungle percent. and give it another go. One million percent. I loved you in it, Gemma. Mm. It was such a shame you left early. Do you know what? You made me howl. It was... It, I look back and part of the hypnotherapy that I had um, and made me realise um, that that girl isn't there anymore because obviously I've done every diet out there. There's nothing I haven't done. And I come across this guy called Robert Heisey and I believe that he could potentially help me. Mm. But with all these things you go and you think, well, can they, can't they? So I was a bit optimistic. Did he work with Sam Fares? He'd worked with Sam Fares and her eyelashes. Yeah, and that was very successful. Yes, she did, which is not nice to live with that. That's yeah. a trichlomania or something. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously I didn't realise, but I was obsessed with food and life always revolved around food and eating and before I'd leave the house it would all be like where am I having lunch where am I having dinner there was no brain space in my head that didn't allow for me not to think about food it was a living nightmare mm. and I went to see Robert and um, again I walked in there and I was saying to him come on mate I've got 20 minutes I'm really busy he's like Gemma you've got to sit here for two and a half hours and you will thank me for it at the end so I thought okay let's give it a go and at the end of the process, I don't know what he did. I was wide awake when it was happening because I think people think hypnotherapy, they put you to sleep and people are not comfortable with that. Mm. And I was wide awake and at the end of it, he said, I want you to go back to that girl. If you was to see that girl that you was, what would you say to her? And I shut my eyes and I was like, I can't see this girl, but is this the right answer to say to Robert? Or, and I just said, Robert, I'm really sorry, I can't see this girl anymore. And he said, I want you to shut your eyes and I want you to find this girl again. I went, she's gone. And when I left him, he said, that's the right answer, we shook hands. And I felt a bit funny. I don't remember actually driving from that day in my car to where I went home next. You mm. know, it was all a bit of a blur. And for the first time the next day, I woke up and I believe I got my life back and I got me back.